Hey y'all, welcome back to the lab. In this video, we're gonna answer the question, how popular is F Sharp in 2024? Now, F Sharp continues to be my favorite programming language, but the fact remains that it's relatively niche. And here we'll dive into the 2024 numbers to see how popular F Sharp is in the software engineering community at large. All right, so how popular is F Sharp? So we'll be pulling data from a few different sources to figure out F Sharp's popularity. Each source has its own ranking system and biases. So absolute numbers are unlikely to be super accurate, but directionally the patterns seem to hold. And so we should be able to take directional figures from this to better understand kind of its place in the industry. So first we'll start off with Stack Overflow and pulling programming language popularity from that. And so every year they run a dev survey where tens of thousands of developers share what tech they're using and if they like it or not. I believe the 2024 numbers are about 60,000, which as you know, a pretty big number, but maybe not sufficient to get like a super accurate read. And the bias for this survey is like who actually responds to this. So often it's a small percent of the total dev ecosystem. You know, I think there's 60,000 respondents and I think the software engineering like career ecosystem is like in the millions. So a good amount, but like, is it representative? Hard to tell. And then these people that respond often skews a bit corporate. Like this is maybe not totally true, but I, I, the way that I feel about people who are actually active on Stack Overflow is like, they're a little bit more backend leaning corporate and like maybe even a bit more old school, um, especially now that, you know, Stack Overflow's popularity is going down. And so these are all gonna skew the results of this survey to make maybe the, the actual numbers not super accurate. And in fact, I forgot to participate this year at all. And I like participating in this thing. I just missed the, the cutoff. So like, you know, some anecdotes data there for you. Okay, and so here is the rankings. And according to the Stack Overflow Dev Survey, F Sharp is the 42nd most popular language used by 0.9% of respondents. This is a bit less than 2023, where F Sharp placed 37th with 1.03% usage. But again, like this is almost a rounding error in terms of like who's responding to F Sharp. We have only a few respondents anyway. So, you know, me and a few of my friends not responding could be the difference between uh, a lot of these percents. And so I've got it in like picture form. We have our popularity here. And then I wanted to like put this into context because 0.9% seems like very small. Um, and it is compared to like the huge big players like C Sharp here we see and Java, um, JavaScript, things like that. But it's kind of like a power curve where they're, the top five are super big used by like 25 plus percent of people. But then there's a really long tail of languages that get very little uh, percent. And so I wanted to be able to compare it against those. And so I've selected a few languages that I think are comparable or at least are often in the same conversations as F Sharp that are kind of like functional first or have good functional features um, and to see kind of where they stand. And so with that respect, we have like Kotlin at 9.4%, Scala at 2.6, Elixir 2.1, Haskell 2, Clojure 1.2, F Sharp 0.9, and then OCaml 0.8. Um, OCaml and F Sharp probably being the most similar to each other. And so, you know, F Sharp is like not mainstream it is not comparable to C Sharp. Even Kotlin is like pulling away from it because Kotlin's used for a lot of um, like Android stuff, a lot of Java replacements and stuff. But if we look at these languages where they are functional first and like semi-mainstream for a functional first language, F Sharp is like, you know, pretty average here. Maybe it's like only got half the, the usage is like Haskell and Elixir, but like it's still pretty average compared to them. It's not really being left behind or anything. So just a little context there to, to put things in perspective. And I've got all the data here um, in a little list if you wanna look at it. And so yeah, the takeaway from this is that, you know, F Sharp is not mainstream, but it's really not far behind comparable functional first languages either. All right, so next we're gonna be taking a look at rankings from the TOB index. Hopefully I'm saying that right. This index is like a bit confusing, but basically it seems to hinge on the amount and rankings of content for that technology on the internet. So you can think of this as like a web crawler and it's like going around crawling a bunch of stuff and then it's doing ratings based on like, I think the market share of content that it has. Um, and so again, this is like directionally kind of similar. So like we can probably trust the direction, but there are some like notable oddities about this thing so that you probably wouldn't want to trust it by itself. An example of this walk wonkiness is that like, if you look at JavaScript, it's in sixth place. This makes sense. JavaScript is used everywhere. Maybe it should be higher than this, honestly. Um, but TypeScript is in 48th place, which is like very unlikely anecdotally from seeing 
how often TypeScript is actually used in production and kind of ranking that against other surveys and data things, TypeScript should probably be in the top 10, um, but here it's in 48th. So, you know, take this data with a grain of salt. It's got its own biases and oddities, but directionally, I think it's still got something useful for us. And so if we look at the popularity for the TOB index, we see that F -sharp comes in as 50th most popular language used by 0.14%. Um, it's not really used by, it's kind of like just the ratings, I guess, like content share is probably a better term for this, but you know, trying to, rank popularity based on content. If we pull out some of those other languages that we saw above, you know, we see a similar pattern of usage. C Sharp is up there with fifth with almost 5%, Kotlin 20th with almost 1%, Scala 30th with 0.5%, Haskell 34th, 0.5%, Elixir 44th, 0.2%, and then F Sharp 50th at 0.14%. And so these numbers are like very widely much different than Stack Overflow's numbers, but directionally they're in a similar rankings. Note that 50th is the last place they give ratings. And so F Sharp like barely makes the cut. Um, OCaml and Clojure and stuff, they did not make the cut, but they're in the top 100. Um, but again, kind of goes to show that like, yes, F Sharp is not the most popular. It cannot compete against the mainstream languages, but you know, compared to these functional first languages, it's actually doing all right. Next. So what does this mean for F -sharp? In my opinion, it doesn't really mean much at all. F -sharp has never been a super popular language, but its popularity has remained relatively consistent over the past few years. You know, we will probably never get the community that like Python and JavaScript has. They are like pretty entrenched, although, you know, never say never, but there is a small community of like very active developers and that hasn't really gone away um, over the past few years that I've been in the ecosystem either. Now, personally, I still use F -sharp to build most of my side projects and I find it's got a very good ecosystem to leverage. We've got the tooling, we've got the whole .NET ecosystem, which, you know, C -sharp runs on. So we've got basically any library you could ask for. Um, and .NET is fast, like very fast. And so I think if you're interested in trying it out, it's totally worth it. Um, and is honestly one of the better general purpose languages out there, in my opinion. But just know, you know, it's not mainstream. Now, if you like this post, you might also like the state of F -sharp 2023, how I got interested in F -sharp, or the best way to get started learning and building with F -sharp, a compilation of different learning tools from around the community that people have suggested um, and found, you know, to be useful in their own journey with F -sharp. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.